Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Sensi Bring Back My Bar first sniffs video. I just got done running some errands and my Bring Back My Bars have arrived. It is Friday, December 8th, and these already arrived. I ordered these December 1st. I feel like this year, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this year, we got the Bring Back My Bars super early. These don't launch until January 1st for everyone, but consultant perk, we are able to order them early so we can give them sniffs, warm them, let you guys know what you what we think, make samples, etc. I have never been more excited for a Bring Back My Bar because I feel like over the years, Sensi has released a lot of the same Bring Back My Bars. And if you're unfamiliar, what's a Bring Back My Bar? Well, January and June of every year, Sensi brings back 20 to 25, this year is 25, bars that have been retired from the catalog that you can have for one month only. But, of course, with Sensi Club, you can add these bars to your club and get them whenever you want, forever and ever and always, as long as they remain in your club, which is such an awesome perk. And I have not watched any videos yet because literally these just arrived. It's still the first week of December. And a lot of these fragrances sound so up my alley. And this year, they had us vote for fragrances that haven't been around for a few years. So all of these are new to me. There's one here, the... um. What's the name? The Cranberry Mango. I think I've smelled it before, but I honestly can't remember. So I did take all of these out of the box, let them get a little bit up to room temperature so I have a little bit better of a warming sniff to get going. But we are just going to dive right in. Again, these are available starting January 1st. Now, I will say there are two licensed fragrances in here. So there is an option. I'm not sure exactly how much. It doesn't say, but if you wanted to bundle, you could bundle them. One bar is $6. A license is $6.50. Three is $17. Three licensed is $18.50. And then the best bang for your buck, which is buy five bars, get the six for free. Six bars is 30 and six licensed bars is $32.50. So if you wanted to get licensed, and you can't mix licensed and regular bars in a bundle, you would have to get all six licensed. But anyway, without further ado, let's get to sniffing. As I go through these, I'm actually going to pick out my top six favorites. So if I could make a six pack for recommendations, these are the six that I would recommend. So first we have is Blood Orange Spice. Now before I even sniff this, I don't think it's going to be one that I'm going to necessarily enjoy. It's just not the type of fragrance that I enjoy. The notes read, this sweet tart trio of candied apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick will satisfy your autumn obsession. One, I'm kind of over like fall fragrances and I just don't care for blood orange and cinnamon anyway. This is nice. It's not as strong as I thought it would be on the blood orange, actually. The candied apple really mellows it down and I'm surprised I can really smell the candied apple. Yeah, you definitely get the blood orange though, but it's more like, it's funny because it says a blood orange puree and it is, it's almost like you had like a, an orange cinnamon drink. So it's like very mellow blood orange. It's not super strong. It's dominant, like you can definitely smell it, but it's not overwhelming where it's like, woo, I thought I would be like, knock my socks off strong, but it's not. If you like those blood orangey, cinnamon, spicy citrus fragrances, I think you would really like this. Not my favorite. I'll probably melt that, enjoy it, but not club worthy or anything like that. Next we have Amaretto. Now, Amaretto is an almond-centered fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. I think I'll enjoy this one, but I don't think I'll love it. Yeah. It's, it's nice. If you didn't know any better, you would almost think this is like pistachio because of the way the honey and the almond blend together. This is nice. It's pleasant. It's very warm. It's very decadent. I think it's going to be a really strong one. I also think this will be a really good mixer 
if you want to amp up the bakery in a fragrance, but not just add like a vanilla bean buttercream or a sugar cookie, you want it to have a little bit more depth to it. This is nice. I could see this being like an open concept fragrance because it is very strong and one that could get a little overwhelming in a small space like a bedroom or an office. So that's enjoyable. It is enjoyable if you like like almondy fragrances. Next, we have Strawberry Sweetie. Now, I love strawberry fragrances. My favorite strawberry fragrance from Scentsy is Sugared Strawberry, second to Coastal Strawberry. So I'm excited to see what this is like. There is a fragrance that's Strawberry Swirl, which I'm not a fan of. It's too artificial candy strawberry. And I'm afraid that this is going to lean towards that. But we will see. A fruity delight of strawberries sprinkled with sugar and vanilla. Yeah, this, mm, this totally smells like a strawberry lip gloss. Totally. If like a very artificial candied strawberry. I think if you were getting like a warmer for a little kid who maybe, I know like they really like their room to smell good, but you're afraid to get them a candle and you want to get them a warmer and wax. I feel like this is a really good option for them. It is a very candied, bright strawberry. I'll be curious to see how it melts. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's definitely not in the top for strawberry, for Scentsy for me. It definitely smells like a lip gloss strawberry. So if you enjoy like candied strawberry fragrances. Next, uh, I'm really excited to see this one or to smell this one, Lavender Vanilla. I love lavender vanilla blends, and if this is like Bath & Body Works lavender vanilla, it'll immediately go in my club. If it performs well, it will go in my club. I have noticed lately, I have been melting a lot more calming blends in my bedroom. Like right now, I have cashmere and corduroy, which I am just loving. Loving, loving, loving. I love cashmere and corduroy in my bedroom. That's definitely going to go in my club, and I've been leaning more towards those type of fragrances. So we shall see. The notes read a relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla beans, orange zest, and patchouli. So the orange zest and patchouli is interesting. Oh, not what I expected at all from this. Interesting. Interesting. It's definitely not what I expected at all from this. I can get the orange zest. I If you gave this bar to me and didn't give me notes, I would say there is an earthiness. I don't necessarily say that it would be patchouli. The lavender is really, really overpowered by the vanilla, which is interesting because lavender is a typically strong fragrance. I'm not sure how to read this one. So this is what I'm going to have to melt. This is definitely a maybe. This is definitely a maybe. Because I feel like if it performs really well in a bedroom, this will go in my club. Because it is really nice and really pleasant. But I feel like this is one that you really need to get it warm to really experience all the notes coming out. So not sure on that one yet. Next, we have Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond, and this is a licensed bar. And the notes read, Blast off to a galaxy of endless imagination where fizzy orange and black currant are cosmically balanced with plum blossom and sugared raspberry. Oh, okay. I'm immediately smelling like a candy. You get the fizzy. Surprising, but it's not super strong fizzy. It's more of a light fizzy. Fizzy orange, black currant, plum blossom, and sugared raspberry. This is nice. This is definitely like a fruity fizzy fragrance. Again, Buzz Lightyear. I feel like kids would really like this. But it's not overwhelming. I can pick up the sugary raspberry and the orange. And I feel like the black currant is adding just a hint of tartness to this. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. It's definitely fruity. There's not many licensed bars though that really like do it for me. And I couldn't see spending like the extra 50 cents on this. I will melt it and see, but 
not a winner. Next is Peony Petals. Now, my director, Lisa Roberry, loves this fragrance and was so excited to get it voted back. And from the notes, I think I will really enjoy it. Peony and Rose Petals dance on a soft breeze. I love the fragrance of peonies. Homeworks has an enchanted peony fragrance that is beautiful. It does have a little bit of strawberry in it, though, to add it fruity. And I love rose. So possibly... I could do like one cube of the strawberry sweetie with this to like fruity and fruit it up, but I want to see what it's like in just raw form. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is pretty. Yep, I love this. For one, I love the color. This is spring. This is in my basket with flower shop. This is in my basket with Mediterranean spa, aloe water and cucumber. Not that they're similar, but if you create like a spring is here basket, winter is over, you're over the warm scents, you're over the heavy fragrances, and you just want something really fresh and inviting and like windows open, this is it. This is so pretty. Now, I have a lot of friends who are super averse to rose. They do not like rose fragrances. And I feel like if they smell this, they'd be like, whoa, this is rose. I love rose fragrances. So to me, it's in the background here. It almost has a hint of body care. To me, I feel like this is a fragrance. If you remember Crabtree and Evelyn, they had like hand creams and soaps and shower gels. They've been rebought and rebranded and it doesn't look anything like it used to. But when Crabtree and Evelyn used to be a thing, I could see, this is a scent that I could see being in one of their body care fragrances. They had like, I always pictured Crowdtree and Evelyn being like a giant vat of lotion and they put like rose water or peony water, orange blossom water. So a very diluted, mellowed down floral in a giant vat of lotion. So it's only a hint, an essence of the flower. And that's what this is. This is beautiful. This is going in my six pack. Wow, wow, wow. And if it performs the way it smells here, it'll totally go in my club. I love peony petals. I, I figured I would like it. I didn't expect myself to like it that much. All right, next we have cinnamon. Now cinnamon, warm earthy cinnamon and spices meld it with a cool burst of crisp peppermint. So it's not trying to be anything more than cinnamon and peppermint. Mm. Yeah, it smells like pep cinnamon gum. Oh, I don't like this. No, it's cinnamon and peppermint. And again, it's not trying to be anything it's not. If you like cinnamon, you like peppermint, you want them together, this is your bar. Cinnamon and peppermint, not for me. But if you enjoy cinnamon and peppermint, definitely try it. I will melt it. It does smell festive, just doesn't smell like something that I would really gravitate towards. Next, I'm obsessed with the color of this, Awakening. This is like a melon colored bar, super fun. And this says, invigorate your senses with an unexpected harmony of white peach, vanilla, pineapple, and amber. Sounds really good. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. Really spring-like really bright, fresh. Oh, I enjoy this a lot. This is light, but I enjoy it. This is one I could see in a powder room or in a guest room. If you want to put something in that's not overwhelming. So you have white peach, which is a little juicier. I feel like when you put white peach in a fragrance rather than a regular, like a Georgia peach, it loses the essence of like some people think cat urine. I love peach, but I can see how some people find that in fragrances. But I feel like when it's a white peach, you lose all aspects of that. So this is just like an essence of peach. Really juicy, fresh pineapple. And then the vanilla and the amber adds like a body care essence to this. This is really pretty. If this like performs really well, I could see this being one I would regularly want coming to me because it is really pretty, but not blow your socks off on cold. Really nice. If you like those light fruity fragrances, definitely 
Try Awakening. Next, very intrigued by this. For one, the color combo is incredible. This is lots of lavender. So you have this really pretty like sage green color label and then a really pretty light purple wax. Now the notes read calming blend of chamomile and lavender. I'm not a huge chamomile fan, but I do like lavender. Really light. Really light, but really pretty. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'm not a fan of chamomile because sometimes it can come across like starchy almost, if you know what I mean. Like when you smell chamomile, it's almost like you need to drink water because you feel like your mouth is dry because it's so starchy. But this is a real pretty blend. Ooh, okay. It's so funny because what was the pile that I said? La lavender vanilla. I need to melt to see how I feel. I need to melt this to see how I feel because I can't say if I like it or not yet. It's a lot fresher than I thought it would be. I thought the chamomile would really overwhelm it, but it's actually really pretty and balanced. Really like, really like. Okay, this is another one I need to melt to see. So far, I only have one in my six pack, peony petals. Let's see, next, falling leaves. All right. An earthy blend of clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. A lot of patchouli in this round. No. This smells like a head shop. Oh. Oh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Maggie, if Maggie, are you watching this? You would love this. This gives, like, um, what's the scent that you really like? Um, it's like a Renaissance festival type of fragrance. Not dragon's blood. I'm drawing a blank. You, you Nog Champa. It smells like, it gives me Nog Champa vibes with that patchouli. The earthy patchouli is definitely in here. Wow. And I feel like this, this is a scent where this one bar could do your entire, like uh, my entire apartment. I have five rooms in here. I feel like one bar could do the entire apartment and like blow you out of the house. Clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. Very, very earthy. All right, while we're doing it, let's just knock this one out of the way. Simply patchouli. It does surprise me that this got voted back because most people don't care for patchouli. So I find this interesting. Dive into the rich, earthy scent of patchouli. That's all it says. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. You know how sometimes patchouli's blended with a lot of things that you could tolerate? No. Next, whipped vanilla pear. That will not be going in my club. Whipped vanilla pear, a luxurious caramel glaze tops baked pear and whipped vanilla. Oh, yum. Oh, yum, yum, yum. This is really good. Oh, that clam is like super thin. I thought I almost broke it. This is incredible. This is pear flambe. This is so good. Oh my gosh. If you like rich, sweet caramel, vanilla, the pear is just slightly in the background that makes it, you can tell it's in there. But the caramel and the vanilla round out this fragrance with that juicy succulent pear. Oh, this is so good. If you've ever had the Harry and David's pears, the ones that come in the gold foil, and you put it in the oven and top it with ice cream and like a caramel glaze, that's what this is. This is a luxurious Harry and David's pear dessert. This is so good. If this performs well... I could see this in my club. I mean, and Scentsy has great pear. Like, what's the one? Perfect day. I know a lot of people do not care for that one. 
I love Perfect Day. And after this catalog season, it will go in my club because it performs and it performs for days and days and days for me. I love Perfect Day. This with Vanilla Pear, if it performs like that, I could see that going in my club. Um, actually, I could see a six pack. Next, Twitter painted, and this is the Bambi fragrance. This is so pretty. I immediately think it's just gonna be light based on the name and the notes. Spring is in the air and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet. In a swirl of sun-kissed Meyer lemon, morning dewdrops, and lush wild moss. It's pretty. Um, I definitely, as weird as it sounds, definitely get the dew drops. It's like a sweet water scent. Don't think water aquatic like cologne. Think of water as in sweet, wet. There's certain fragrances. I'm immediately thinking of the Bath and Body Works candle afternoon rainfall or fresh spring morning where it has that wet note to it that's truly like wet water and not like cologne. The Meyer lemon is in here. It's not a tart lemon, it's a fresh lemon, like fresh lemon zest on an early spring day. And then the wild moss adds just some green. This is really pretty. I really like this. I really like this. This is one, again, that I could see open the windows on a spring day and it just fills the air. And as funny as this sounds, this picture really depicts what the fragrance is. Bambi and Thumper with the cherry blossoms and the trees, like it is a really pretty green fragrance. I really like that. I love Scentsy's green. I think Scentsy does fresh and green really well. And that is a testament to how well Scentsy does those type of fragrances. Next, we have Cranberry Mango. Now this is one I think I smelled before. Not sure, we will see. The notes are a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. All notes I enjoy. Spicy pineapple kind of throws me off a little bit, but we shall see. Yeah, I definitely have smelled this before, like years ago. It immediately comes back. Oh, this is good. This is so good. If you like cranberry fragrances, which also I know can be a lot for people, I love. I actually just took Cranberry Muffin out of my club because it's just not performing for me, which is so sad because I love the fragrance on cold, but I do not have time for fragrances that don't perform in my club. There's just not enough space. This is incredible. This is so good. This is bright. This is juicy cranberry. This is rich, decadent. I don't think of spicy pineapple. Just eliminate spicy pineapple. I think the cranberry and the mango give that right tartness that all those fruits can be very juicy in wax. And this is very juicy. This is like you walked into a smoothie place. Like you walked into a Smoothie King and they're making smoothies with all the fruits. This is amazing. This is fruity, this is bright. Even though cranberry can lean into like a fall winter fragrance, I could see myself melting this in the spring and summer too and being very happy. So we have cranberry mango. Um, that's going in a, if I need a spot for my six pack, six pack. Next we have Twilight. Now this is like a black label and a red wax. So real interesting dynamic there. The notes here are a lovely, sophisticated scent infused with soft, romantic florals and ocean air. Not giving us much. Mm. This is so interesting. How I was saying about um, the Renaissance Festival and Maggie and the Nog Champa. No, that's not what this smells like, but I went to a Renaissance Festival one year and they had these iron roses, and they were in the ground. You could put them in the ground. They were beautiful, but they infused them with a rose oil, and for some reason, this smells just like it, and I'm immediately taken back to the rose oil that was infused in that wrought iron rose from the Renaissance Festival. How funny is that? 
that's exactly what this smells like. It doesn't say rose, but it also doesn't really tell us at all. It just says soft romantic florals. Yep, this totally smells like that rose oil from the Renaissance Festival. How funny. I mean, it doesn't need to be a club bar or anything, but that's what that smells like. Crazy. Next, we have Lonacera. So this, I believe, is a word for honeysuckle. And the note is, taste the sweet nectar from a honeysuckle trumpet as warm amber and patchouli hover over a spring garden. Lots of patchouli in this round, which is really interesting. I love honeysuckle. This is pretty. However, you do get the amber and the patchouli. It's not a straight up honeysuckle. Does Scentsy have a straight up honeysuckle? If they do, I would really enjoy that. This, the amber and the patchouli is throwing it off for me, unfortunately. It's adding a little bit too much earthiness. Where When I think of a honeysuckle, I think of a bright spring floral. And I get that in the beginning, but the amber and the patchouli in the background isn't making it feel as realistic as I would like it to be. But this is one I also think needs to get melted because maybe that goes away and in the air with your home, you could get that. Otherwise, it's really pretty. I really like it. So, Lona Sara. Next, Bananas, or B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Fun name, fun name. And I love that Sensi isn't hiding anything from us in this. A delicious tropical banana mixed with coconut milk and island vanilla, reminiscent of banana flavored taffy. Totally not denying. Laffy Taffy Banana. Oh yeah, like they know it's candied banana. They're not hiding it. It's candied banana. It's not bad by any means, but it's candied banana. So if you like candied banana fragrances, Banana Laffy Taffy, this is for you. I couldn't see myself melting this all the time. I could see myself every once in a while being like, oh yeah, I'm craving like that candy banana. This is one, I'd get like a three pack, hang on to it every once in a blue moon, melt it and be happy, but not one that I would be like, yes, I need all in. All right, now we're getting into some that I know I've heard a lot of people be excited about, starting with Frosted Ginger Cookie. We got some bakery, definitely some bakery in here. Chewy brown sugar cookie spiked with warming ginger and fragrant vanilla. Not a huge fan of ginger itself. Gingerbread, yes, not ginger spice. Wow. This is like nothing Sensi's ever made. Oh, wow. Hold the phone. This is really interesting. You totally get ginger, like the back of the throat ginger chews, which I say I'm not a super big fan of. However, Sensi, I know you're not watching, but chewy brown sugar cookie. Yes, this actually smells like a cookie. I find that Scentsy, in so many ways, does a lot of bakery, does a lot of pie, does a lot of bread, does a lot of cake. And you, you get the sweet, you get that, but it's missing the bakery element. This has the bakery element. This is a frosted ginger cookie. You get the cookie, you get the crumbs of the cookie. This is incredible. This is incredible. And you know what? I'm off of work on Sunday. I have no plans. This is going in my warmer and I'm just gonna bask in it and enjoy it. And if this is as good performing on Sunday as I hope it is now, this is going in my club. And I would get a six pack just to have on hand. Mark my words, this so far is going to be the most clubbed bar of this Bring Back My Bar. Six pack. All right, next let's eliminate this because I know I won't care for it. Crazy Coconut. It has a bike on it because this was part of the kids collection years ago. I'm not a fan of coconut. Coconut milk, mixed fruit, and vanilla ice cream. Yum.
Oh yeah, like coconut lotion. Super coconut. I'll melt this when I have that random craving for coconut, like sort of like, actually, I bet crazy coconut and B-A-N-A-N-A-S would be really good together in alternate warmers on a hot summer day. I think I might save these guys for summer, like August or July when it's really hot. Have this going through the warmers and being very content and being done with it. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Totally. All right. Next, we have Vanilla Walnut. This I'm very intrigued by because you don't really find walnut in a lot of fragrances. A warm fragrance with roasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. It's not super strong. However, I don't think I would want it to be. I think this will be a nice bedroom scent. As weird as like, I don't think bakery in a bedroom is super weird. But I do feel like bakery, like heavy bakery in a bedroom is not the best. But this, this is good. Do walnuts really have a distinct scent to them? I feel like walnuts have a scent when they're like mixed with things. And yeah, it has sweet vanilla bean. This is like elevated vanilla. I feel like if you missed out on Simply Vanilla or Vanilla Cream in your club, I feel like adding Vanilla Walnut to your club will satisfy that itch. Because this is a very creamy, warm vanilla. And I really enjoy this. This is really nice. This is really nice. Yep. If this performs as well as I hope it will, going in my six pack. Next, Caramel Sugar Cone. This one, we're getting into all bakery. Well, almost all bakery. All right. Caramel Sugar Cone. Glute, I almost said gluten-free. Guilt-free, gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and a touch of malt. Oh, this is interesting. This is good. This is, this is very gooey caramel. This is Werther's Caramels. Like the hard Werther's candy caramels that you just suck in your mouth and they just melt and you get that really, it's not trying to be anything more than a just delicious sugary caramel candy. That's what this is. No salt either. I know a lot of the times caramel can be mixed with salt, which overwhelms it. No, this is gooey, buttery caramel candy. This is nice. This is nice. Yeah, that gooey Werther's Caramel. I could see this being cloying for a lot of people because it is very sweet caramel. However, I really enjoy it. Yeah, this is really yummy. Okay, um, potential six pack, but I don't know. It's good. This one, I've been very into earthy scents lately, but not like, not patchouli earthy. This, this I have been romanticizing ever since I heard about it. Red Cedar and Sage. The color, everything. I feel like this is going to be so great. Run through Red Cedar, Sage, and Fresh Forest Greens. I really like those type of fragrances, so we shall see. Yep, this is so good. This is strong and sharp. Wow. This is the strongest bar. This is the strongest bar in the whole in the whole block. Oh, this is nice. You have got to like cedar. This is like cedar chest cedar. This is really, really rich cedar wood. But you totally get the sage. You totally get the green. It's funny. I'm actually sitting next to an under the Christmas tree candle from Bath and Body Works. No, this doesn't smell similar. But I love this fragrance because I get the sage leaf in the background. And I get the sage in here too. This is so good. This is definitely like... And I, I hate putting gender on fragrance, but I know a lot of people go by that. This is a men's scent. Like this, if I walked into a man's apartment and he had this scent going, I'd be like, 
he has really great taste in fragrance. This is so good. This, I would love this in a body wash, and I don't even really use men's fragrances. I would use this in a body wash. This is so good. Wow. If you like earthy, rich, I, oh, I almost dropped it. Elizabeth Quinn from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. If you're watching this video, Elizabeth, I feel like this is up your alley. I feel like this is. If if I know your senses like I think I do, I totally can see that. All right, next. Okay, toasted apple butter. I am one of the sad, unfortunate ones that does not have apple butter frosting in his club, nor have any backup, so I haven't smelled it in such a long time. I'm hoping that this is similar. I know it's not gonna be the same, but I hope it's similar. Creamy butter blended with rich, or with ripe apples accented with rich spices. Hold the phone. Oh my gosh, okay. From what I remember about apple butter frosting, if you mix this with vanilla bean buttercream, I think you have apple butter frosting. It's almost like this is the base of apple butter frosting. And you add vanilla to it. This is rich apple butter. This is so good. This is going in my club. Absolutely. I hope this performs well. This is going in my club. This is so good. This is probably the best round to bring back my bars. And meanwhile, my no pile is bigger than my yes pile, but the yeses are pretty darn good. I also don't need 30 yeses. Well, there's only 25, but I don't need 20 yeses because then it would make my club that much harder. But having like five absolute need in my clubs sounds pretty successful from a bring back my bar. Yeah, I feel like... I have a bar of vanilla bean buttercream. I want to melt this totally on its own. Get some more and experiment. I think you could get vanilla um, apple butter frosting from this if you mix this with vanilla bean buttercream. Six pack. Two more. Everything nice. All right, let's see here. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Deep caramel and swirls of butter with roasted pumpkins and glazed pecans. Oh, uh, uh, Sensi, what are you doing to me? This is amazing. Listen, this is going to be one a lot of people don't like. Pumpkin marshmallow. You know how pumpkin marshmallow had like the guts of the pumpkin note in there? The guts of the pumpkin is in here. This is like a true pumpkin pie. Actually... This is like sweet potato casserole with the marshmallows on top. Even though there's not a marshmallow note, this smells like sweet potato casserole. Oh, and this is so good. This is going in my club. This is absolutely going in my club. But I, mark my words, as I start watching videos, I bet this is one a lot of people don't like because of that pumpkin marshmallow type note, that like gutsy pumpkin. I love that. That is one of my Scentsy heartbreaks. I have two pumpkin marshmallows that I did not melt this year because I'm hoarding them and I know I'm not enjoying them by not melting them, but I simply cannot let myself melt them because it is my favorite. This is so good. This actually might make me melt my pumpkin marshmallows. I don't even care that it's December. I love that scent that much. This is incredible. Well, here's a six pack right here. So let's hope this isn't amazing. Toasted caramel sugar, the last one. Warm milk with caramelized sugar and toffee, all swirled together with a sweet scent of silky sweet vanilla musk. This is nice. I'm actually happy though. I enjoy this. This is a this is definitely like a sponge sugar. Almost as if cotton candy had a caramel flavor, like caramel flavored cotton candy, because it has that spun sugar note to it that I really enjoy. But this is so good. This is amazing. 
the more I smell it, the more I like it. But it's not a six pack, but it's really enjoyable. Again, these thoughts might all change on warm, but as of now, this is really good. This is, like I said, this is like caramel flavored cotton candy and I'm sticking with it. All right, so this is already 40 minutes. I don't wanna go super long. This is my six pack, totally different. Everything nice, toasted apple butter, frosted ginger cookie, red cedar and sage, whipped vanilla pear, and peony petals. These three, I would get six packs of because I really enjoy them. Will they go in my club? I'm not sure. Cranberry mango, vanilla walnut, caramel sugar cone, Toasted caramel sugar, four. These two, I need to melt them before I make my decision. Lavender vanilla and lots of lavender. And then rapid fire, either no's or one and done's. Simply patchouli, falling leaves, awakening, cinnamon, crazy, crazy coconut, strawberry sweetie, bananas, Buzz Lightyear, Lona Sara, Amaretto, Twilight, Twitter Pated, and Blood Orange Spice. Those are the ones that, they're not bad. Some of them are, but they are ones that I will melt them. I will enjoy them. I don't know if I'll repurchase them or not. Maybe if they perform exceptionally well and they change, I will. But as of now, no. This is such an exciting time, you guys. Let me know, are you guys consultants? Did you get early access? Let me know down below which ones you're loving. Which ones do you have experience with? Are you adding any to club already? And if you're a customer of mine or someone else's customer, either way, let me know which one you're most excited about down below. Love getting the conversation going down below. As always, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.